So there's something that happened a while back and I thought it was really an interesting point to share. There was, I was in a shop and I had a, a bottle with me. Oh, wait, I'll show you. So I had one of these, so basically, you know, bottle of water and what I do is I put in some uh, diluting juice, if you don't know what that is from, if you're not Scottish, basically it means like a, a, a concentrated fruit squash that you add water to. So I, when I leave the house I normally have one of these so that I've got something to drink because I'm somebody who hydrates a hell of a amount of a lot of uh, water in a day. But anyway, this um, time I was in the shop and this guy had... Well, I didn't realise that in my pocket, because I didn't have a backpack with me, in my pocket, the bottle had fallen out, because I had my earphones in, so I didn't hear it hit the floor. A few minutes later, I go to then look for the bottle, which is then not in my pocket. So I go back to trace my steps, because I'm thinking, well, one, I've dropped my bottle of water, and two, somebody could trip on it and stand in the bottle and hurt themselves. So I decided to then go and have a look for the bottle, and couldn't see it. And I hadn't went far from where the last time I had it, to then looking about. So I'm kind of scanning the space thinking, oh my God, like, where is it went? It could really hurt somebody, you know, what am I going to do? And I then noticed like a few like sections back, a guy where he's got like a, a, a kind of bag that has like a, a strap with his like a pockety bit. So the guy has picked up my bottle of water, which was maybe a little bit full of villain this. And it's so obvious because it was a Kirkland bottle with, you know, red liquid in it. So I then realised the guy had picked up my bottle, obviously with the intention to drink it, because you wouldn't then have it. And um, anyway, and it made me think, like, is, is he maybe, like, so down on his luck in life that that bottle of what is already drank half the bottle of water did he need it that badly and then it just made me really think about how lucky I am like I'm lucky enough to be able to afford that and some people are just not and I think we have to sometimes sit back and look at ourselves and realise you know how grateful and how blessed we are and to use our words and our energy in a positive way because, you know, being in this industry, it's negativity and hate from a lot of people over the silliest little things and people want to micro pull bits apart of what you do. So my point to this story is think about what you're doing. Words and energy has consequences and can make a change in someone's life.